Welcome everybody to Valpo All Access to preview the Valpo baseball season. I'm Brandon Vickery, glad to be joined by the head coach Brian Schmack. Hard to believe baseball season is here as the season gets started on Friday. And Coach, you talk about your team, but first let's talk about the renovations that are coming to Emory G. Bauer Field. Certainly exciting news that these renovations are going to be underway soon. What can you tell us? Yeah, we're obviously really excited. It's you know a long time coming. There's been a lot of people that have you know worked hard to get something together, and you know I think we're starting out with infield turf, which is going to be tremendous for our guys and just the ability to practice uh, more often. Uh, you know, kind of despite the weather, if it's if it's not raining or raining light, we can do some certain type things. So development was the first key for us, and, and that's going to um, you know play a huge part into that. So. Um, obviously, we've got other things in, in mind and in store that we want to do, whether it be the dugouts, the stands, um, technology, just all the other things that go along with that. So we're excited that uh, at least one of the phases are starting. A lot of excitement for what's coming in the future, but let's talk about Valpo Baseball in 2020. Starting with your pitching staff, you have 92% of your innings pitched from a year ago back this season, 18 arms available. Just what's it going to be like to have so many options on the pitching staff? Yeah, it's going to be a little refreshing, you know, and obviously at this time of the year we're excited because there are uh, all those options and, and things end up working themselves out. But uh, I think for us, we're, you know, this year we're trying to put a bunch of our guys in the best situation to succeed. And with so, having so many arms and so many different options, I think that's going to be good for us because uh, we're not going to have to extend guys or ask them to do things that they maybe weren't uh, used to or, or able to do. And, and we can put guys in better situations. So I uh, feel really good about our pitching right now. Let's talk more about that Friday season opener. You said you're going to start Easton Roadhouse, who has been a relief pitcher through his career. What thinking went into the way you're approaching the pitching staff this weekend? Uh, you know, I think we just wanted to put guys in good spots. You know, and I think we ended up throwing some of our best relievers in situations that um, we couldn't control. And I think when we do something like this, we can we we know when when Easton's going in, we know the score, we know the situation, and we can start to dictate things instead of letting it dictate to us. And you know, I know it's not going to be perfect. You know, situations will arise, and, and we'll have to make some adjustments. But at least early on, we can throw some of our better guys in more high leverage situations. And and uh, I think the the guys are excited about it. And you know, I think looking forward to the challenge. And you know, I've asked them to be really flexible in that situation. And they definitely have to because it's not the traditional. Uh, you know, I have this inning, this inning, this inning. It's, it's uh, you know, our, our, our starter may go in the third, he may go in the second, he may not pitch. I mean, it's, it's, it's going uh, to be interesting to say the least, so um, looking forward to it. Let's talk about the offense, kind of the opposite of the pitching staff, quite frankly. You lost a lot from a year ago. Four of your six, top six batting averages are gone. Guys like Dawson and Shaken and Billinger. How do you fill those holes this season? Uh, I think we've done a really good job, first of all, developing the guys that we still have. You know, and I, we've talked about kind of raising the... Um, raising the floor within that with, within the program, and some of those guys obviously were younger that struggled early on, and they've gotten better right away. Um, whether it be summer ball or just continuing to be older and, and learning about baseball, so um, I, we're excited about that. I think our depth is it's maybe not as deep um, on the offensive side, but uh, our guys are we're not asking asking them to do what Blake and Sam and Chase did. We just want them to get on base. We want to create pressure on the offensive side, and, and um, hopefully just be a different type of offense than we were last year. We talk about it every year, and every year it seems like we say this is your most challenging schedule you've had, and it seems to get more and more challenging. What can you tell us about the slate you've put together this season? Yeah, again, and, and it is challenging. You know, obviously uh, we open up at Western, and, and Noah and Ben, and, and they're they're going to be ready to go. So that's a challenge in itself. Um, you know, the number one team in the country is next, and then we have a weekend tournament where the two teams are both picked to win their conference and play Kent State, which is picked to win. So. Um, it's, it's good for our guys because we want to figure out what we're doing and we want to face the best teams and we can make adjustments that way so um, you know by the time we get to conference play we should be very challenged obviously and know what we need to work on and hopefully that sets us up for the tough NBC schedule. There is the head coach of the Valpo baseball program Brian Schmack. It all gets going on Friday at Western Kentucky and for all the latest in Valpo baseball as always check out ValpoAthletics.com.